Welcome to my side of the internet. My name is Mark Anthony and in today's video I want to do a little chit chat video and I want to talk about five things I envy about women's wear, women's fashion, women's style. Now before I get into this I have exactly three disclaimers. Number one, if hyper masculinity is your thing, this is not the video for you. This is not the channel for you. You may be entitled to compensation. You might wanna contact your local law firms about that, uh, but good luck. Uh, number two is I understand that some of the things that I envy can be resolved with um, luxury brands and higher price points, but I'm broke AF. So I accept that, I receive that. You're welcome to call me that in the comments because it is very, very, very true. And number three, I'm talking about things that are labeled men's wear and things that are labeled women's wear. So if you're a guy and you wear women's clothes, that's great. If you're a woman and you wear men's clothes, that's also great. I'm talking specifically about things that are labeled these things. So I wanna make sure that I put that disclaimer out there as well. Uh, but without further ado, let me get into it. And let me know what you think about these comments and vice versa. If any ladies come across this video, let me know what you envy about men's wear. Okay, number one is we need more two-piece sets. And we need more two-piece sets that aren't suits, which I love, as you can see, and that are also are not sweatsuits, which I also love. But I would love to have different silhouettes, maybe some two-piece with collars, maybe some two-piece with some ties, maybe some two-pieces with tailored pants that don't have that sort of jogger bottom, just more two-piece options that are a little bit more elevated and sophisticated. I'm gonna make sure that I pop up inspiration images here so you can see what I'm talking about. Just some more, uh, you know, grown up two pieces that, you know, really make a statement, but are also very easy to style, easy to put on. So that's one of the things that I really envy. Like I said, when you get higher in the price points, you see a little bit more options out there. But I will say, I, I do think it's improving. I have seen more two piece set options for menswear and I have been picking them up. I recently bought one from Zara. Um, I might showcase that in another video. It has like a kimono style uh, shirt and like some slightly wider leg pants, wide enough for me to be comfortable because that's not really my thing. But yes, more two piece options, please, please, please. Next up is gonna be just a personal pet peeve of mine. Ugh. And that is men's jewelry. Between the cash money 999 to thousand symbols on the necklaces, the lions, the snakes, the skulls. Oh, the skulls. Oh, the skulls. Listen, if that's your style, I'm definitely not downplaying it or trying to talk negative about it. But just more simplistic options like this necklace, uh, daintier jewelry, simpler jewelry that you can stack. I, we need more options for jewelry, I think. I would love one day in the future to have a jewelry line. I think I could really kill some jewelry designs. Uh, but like I said, the more higher the price point you go, much like with all of these items, there are more options out there. So for example, I love David Yerman jewelry, but I just cannot afford it. Um, but just more jewelry options for us. I think it would be great for those of us who don't want to wear lines and snakes. I don't that can we talk about the snakes what is that I, you know what there may be something i'm missing here i'm gonna google it snakes might be some sort of symbol for something that i just don't know if you know please let me know in the comments because <laughs> i don't get the snakes i think that's the last thing i want to communicate about myself and my style that i'm a snake in any particular way but i would also love to see more architectural pieces in jewelry. I'm gonna show you an example of a bracelet that I picked up, a bracelet that's labeled a women's bracelet. Well, I got it from Anthropology, which is a, a women's store, but I'm gonna get it for you really quick so you can see what I'm doing. So here is the bracelet. As you can see, it's kind of a statement piece, really architectural in the design. It uh, really stands out. Just more options like this. And if there are some contemporary brands, more affordable brands, for me, affordable would be like less than $200. So if you see any of those jewelry brands that I might be missing, uh, make sure you uh, drop them in the comments because I would love to explore more. I have searched and searched and searched and I just end up going to TJ Maxx where I got this necklace and where I get most of my jewelry, to be honest. Next is going to be better prints. 
And by that, I mean more abstract prints. I'm gonna pop up inspiration pictures here and prints in neutral colors because I find that when we do prints for men's wear, it's very loud and some of us don't like the color. Some of us don't wanna wear a floral suit in the spring, floral spring groundbreaking. Um, you know, just more abstract, sophisticated prints. Again, I'm going to use the word architectural prints. That would be great to see in men's wear. And I also want to see prints on different types of items, not just shirts. Because usually when I see a nice abstract print, it's on a shirt and I will usually pick it up. But I would love to see it on coats in neutral colors. I would love to see pants in neutral colors. Um, saw this amazing coat this guy has. I'm gonna make sure I put up an inspiration picture again. I would love that coat. Um, it's just everything I like, long, belted, uh, but more options like that, I think, outside of the standard leopard or plaid, or usually I'll see like some sort of dupe of a Versace print. Um, sorry, somebody's getting murdered. I hope they okay. Um, I live in DC, y'all, so sometimes people be shooting. The third thing that I really envy about women's fashion is really the silhouettes and fabric options. Now, this one can get a little dicey, so I wanna make sure that I'm very specific about it. And by that, I mean like more interesting necklines, more interesting designs, more appliques, more just more thought into the design. Now, I get for men's wear, um, it's probably not going to sell um, as mass market as it could with all those bells and whistles. I get that. That's probably why it's not in production. Um, but just like one or two options would be great for those of us who like to be a little bit extra. It's one of the reasons why I really gravitate towards kimono style shirts and kimono style coats and kimono style items. A different silhouette that you really don't see on the high street as much. Whereas for women, you know, there's a ton of different silhouettes. You know, you can get a skirt in three different lengths. It could have a split. It could not have a split. It could have a print. You can get a coat that's cropped. You can get a coat that's long. You can get a coat that's whatever, you know. You can get a shirt that's off a shoulder, a shirt that has huge shoulder pads or some sort of shoulder structure. So you get what I mean, just more options in terms of, and they don't have to be super extra, you know, just give us a little something else to work with, a little something else to play with is something I would definitely appreciate and something that I really envy about women's fashion. Women really can play around a little bit more. Whereas with us, it's just like a shirt, a jacket, a pant, and you're out the door. Now, I'm not saying I wanna wear a skirt. Okay, because I, I can see somebody saying that in the comments. <laughs> Nothing wrong with men wearing skirts. Uh, I just don't want to wear one. First of all, I don't even wear shorts, so I definitely would not wear a skirt. Um, and two, um, what shoes would I wear with a skirt? Anyway, that's I'm getting into tangent territory here. <laughs> And I also mean more relaxing fabrics. It's one of the reasons why I gravitate. I've talked a lot about viscose in a lot of my videos and a lot about silk in some of my videos. Just more flowy fabrics. This is uh, viscose. It's very sheer, very flowy. Just some of us want to be a little bit more relaxed and not as buttoned up and structured as men's wear usually is it's playing around with different angles it's one of the reasons i really love that brand or two because i think they really capture a lot of what i like at a decent price point um and i've talked about them i want to say twice now in previous videos if you're wondering why i'm squinting i just realized that it's because i usually wear glasses but for some weird reason i don't like to wear them when i'm shooting these videos so i'm looking at my notes and then i'm looking at myself Anyway, another tangent. Uh, what is going on with me today? Um, and I would love more bells and whistles. I'm gonna pop up this picture of Olivia Palermo where she's wearing this jacket with piping. Like, where's the piping stuff for us? I don't really see piping in menswear outside of pajamas, pajama sets. I would love more piping and bells and whistles. Put it on coats, put it on jackets. Before I get off this one, another thing I want to say about, you know, silhouettes and fabrics is more waist 
accentuating items I think would be great, especially for somebody like me who struggles with their waistline. I have been vocal about that on my channel, but like, I, I'm not saying like I need an hourglass sort of shape, but just something that brings the waist in a little bit so I don't have to spend so much money on tailoring. I just spent this month alone $600 on tailoring. So it just gets pricey. So I just, if you just, I just urge the designers at all of these brands to just think about our waistlines when you're constructing these garments. It's one of the reasons why when ASOS dropped those high-waisted jeans, I bought them immediately because they really gave me a waist. I'll make sure I pop up the picture here so that you can see what is going on today. Not on a Sunday, not, not, on, not on a Lord's Day. So sorry about that. Uh, but more waist accentuating items. Please prioritize that in menswear. I would love it. I think many of us would love it. Oh, and for God's sakes, more gold hardware. Just better hardware in general. There's a brand at Macy's called Royalty by Maluma. I really like a lot of the pieces they're developing because they really focus on hardware and it's affordable brand. And of course it isn't real gold or anything like that. But if you check it out at Macy's, a lot of people sleep on Macy's. I, I'm there every week. I have like seven stores that I rotate in a four block radius and Macy's is one of them in downtown DC. But check out Royalty Maluma. I'll make sure that I link it below. They're really doing interesting things with hardware, in my opinion, at affordable price points. Lastly, and this kind of lends itself to the overarching idea here, is that more accessible luxury and more premium options for men, I think would be great for those of us who kind of want to graduate from fast fashion, but aren't necessarily in that 100% um, luxury space yet. There's a lot more options I find for women out there than there than there are men. And even sometimes when I see these brands, and I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna name any, but even sometimes when I see these brands tap into menswear, um, it, it isn't as well thought out. The the same effort in design, the same effort in slay, just isn't there. Now, I understand that traditionally menswear is heavier, more consuming, takes a little bit more fabric, which of course affects the design and it also affects the price point. So I do understand that. Um, but I would do okay mid-tier fabrics for great design, to be honest with you. If it's constructed well in a um, decent fabric, um, I, I would pay to play for that. And there are some mid-tier brands, I'm not going to name any, but you, if you can think of some, put them in the comments because I think we've seen them in most of our department stores where they do create decent quality uh, clothing and it is at a slightly elevated price point and the design of the garments and the construction of it is a little bit more um, higher quality, but it's so damn boring. <laughs> it's boring like men's fashion in a, a, a department store USA is just so boring I, I it's one of the reasons why I always land on ASOS because at least there's some effort there to give us something else <laughs> you know uh, so I always end up spending my money there I would love to sort of graduate outside of that, even though I'm gonna stick beside ASOS, sorry. They just came through for me way too much, okay? We stick, we gonna stick beside ASOS. Um, but yes, I would love more premium contemporary options for men. Um, and if you have any suggestions, of course, leave them in the description, uh, not the description box, yeah. leave them in the comments. I am always looking and open to new ideas. Okay, so that wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you feel inclined. Um, hopefully this topic wasn't too controversial. Hopefully I didn't tick too many people off with it. It really just was a fun sort of topic that I wanted to explore. If you enjoyed it, um, go check out another one of my videos. As of recording this, I now have 10 videos up, even though Trail, we ain't got no subscribers. We <laughs>
<laughs> That's okay. I'm still super proud of hitting 10 video milestones. I'm really going to try to crank it out between November and December. I think I already mentioned that, but um, I'm going to really try to create more. If you have any video suggestions, please again, drop them below. I can just give y'all like eight call to actions. Let me get off this internet. Uh, <laughs> I will catch you on the next one. Mm.